No. No. Definitely not. Yes. Hey, hey, friends of revolutionaries, back with a, um, um, a bag. <laughs> uh, since, or, or a few weeks back, uh, you may recall, uh, there is the review we did for the a SH, oh, I'm going to get that wrong every time, SH Figure Arts Harley Quinn, the Injustice Harley Quinn, and, um, yeah, I commented at the time uh, that I really liked the figure. I really love all the articulation that she had, particularly the uh, the articulation that was in her ponytails, because it really did give her a much more kind of dynamic option. You know, where she could really she could really uh, uh, take on a dynamic kind of jumping. Hammer over her head, kind of Harley, Har Harley moment. <laughs> but um, but because the figure doesn't come with a flight stand, with a base, a flight base, or or anything else, yeah, it looked cool. It would be great to have her on the shelf like this, but I, I didn't have any way of doing it. There was no way of being able to pose her like this, even though I think this is probably the best way. You could probably have your Harley on display. So since that video, I did some hunting, I did some searching, I did some poking around, and uh, and I'll uh, I'll put a link in the description below. But I finally settled on um, a set of ten action figure bases that I found from Amazon. Um, I don't think I don't well, they kind of they kind of have a name. Uh, where is it? Here we go. We, Weibu, Weibu, Weibu.com, Weibu, colon, Weibu.com, I guess, I, I don't know, <laughs> I, I, I can only do my, I can only do my best, I can only try, but, um, but yeah, these are, uh, there are 10 flight bases, or 10 action figure stands, 10 pieces, for 1 and 144 toy, toy clear, clear, clear bases for, for, uh, action figures that are 1 to 144 scale, I'm guessing. Made in China. In case the instructions didn't kind of give that away. <laughs> but, um, but, yeah, I, I was looking for something that was... I wanted to get, you know, a, a, a good number of them, because there was a lot of figures I, I figured I'd use it for. I didn't want to spend a whole lot, but I wanted something that, that seemed to be fairly decent. And it turns out that you get 10 of these for about 20 bucks. So for the price of one figure, you're getting 10 bases. I thought that was a pretty fair deal. I thought it was a pretty failed, fair deal and figured, you know what, let's give it a shot. And so far, I've been pretty happy with them. I've, I've really enjoyed them. And uh, I'm probably going to use them a lot more <laughs> with some of the other reviews that are going to be coming up. But I figured I'd share, I figured I'd share it with you first. Because, um, you know, if you've got figures like me, if you're a collector and you've just got them maybe, you know, standing together and you really want to be able to do something different with them, you want to kind of maybe, well, you know, really show off the figure a little bit more, then these are, I, 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 they're highly recommended. <laughs> we'll say that. They're definitely recommended. Um, in the bag, you get 10 individually packaged bases. Come like this. Uh, each of the uh, each of the bases comes with its own little Ziploc baggie with uh, screws and nuts, screws and bolts, and it comes with a little acrylic screwdriver. So all of the tools you need to put the base together. 
uh, on the reviews that I was reading, they were saying that it was like difficult assembly instructions. I have to say these are pretty straightforward. I, I don't see these being difficult at all. These are pretty easy. But we'll go ahead and we'll put one together and, and see, you know, how it turns out. Um, I've already put a few, to, I'll be honest, I've already put a few together. And uh, only one of them have had a problem with. And I'll talk about it uh, when I get to it. But, yeah, yeah, for, for, for about 20 bucks for, well, $18 plus tax, you know, so, so about, yeah, about $2 altogether for, for a piece. And I don't think there's, I don't think you can do too far wrong. These are really, really good. So, uh, so you take it out of its little baggie. And first off, you see it comes on the, or it comes with a rectangle base. Got the three holes on it, so you can do it horizontal or vertical. And then on the sprue, you've got two armatures and then the joints with the ripping clip. And again, it's these are not these are not difficult at all. Uh, if you now you could you could just go ahead and kind of twist them off and and you know break and and uh, and take them apart. There's absolutely no I, I've had no problems doing that. I did it with one set and other than the the little flange that that's on there might be a little sharp. I do use my flush cut snips that I use for my war game miniatures. And just snip that right off so it's nice and clean and smooth. Let's do the next one. Well, we'll clear this off first. There we go. So you got the two armatures. Move that off the side. Give a little clockwork key looking piece there the knuckles if you will there are three joints there are three uh, uh, hinge joints here these two are exactly the same entirely interchangeable on these two and then the third one this is the one this one right here actually is the one that goes in the base itself. And you can tell because the peg that goes in is a larger size. So there's this one in particular uh, that actually goes in the bottom. But other than that, pretty much everything here is interchangeable. Pretty much. Uh, here is the second part to that joint. And basically any one of these three pieces can be used. There we go. And then the actual little grabbing claw itself, the two, the two halves of the claw. There we go. There we go. There we are. And it does have one last, it looks like it's a cap piece that goes over uh, uh, one of the knuckles. It doesn't really fit, especially once the screw's in place. It doesn't really fit, but it does have this last kind of cap that I, I'm, not, I'm not entirely sure what it's for. And there's your leftover sprue. Make sure to put your plastic tip back on there. Safety always. But um, but yeah, I'm not I'm not entirely sure about this piece. It comes on the sprue. There's only one of them, and at first I thought it went into the the base hinge. You know, I thought it actually it's got a hexagon plug on it. That's a hexagonal shape. So I thought it might go in here just to kind of cap it off and give it kind of a cleaner look. 
but it doesn't work once the screw is in place. Once the screw is there, this doesn't fit. Well, I realize that it does also fit into the hexagonal holes that are on the base. So I thought maybe it's there to kind of fill in the hole in the base. But you can see there are three holes. One of them you're going to use for the armature and then one more and then just one more cap. So there should be two caps and there aren't. So I'm not quite sure what this extra piece is for. I don't see... I don't see I don't see it in the instructions. So I'm I'm really not real clear about what this is for. It's one of the pieces that, that that's on the sprue, so I, I I remove it, but what it's for, I'm not sure. Um starting off or or I guess moving on to the other bits, and we'll want to flip over flip over our base so that when we open our little Ziploc bag. We can go ahead and remove the screws and the nuts. There you go. I don't know what I don't know what size these are. I'm sorry, I don't know what size they are, but I'm sure if you were to lose one or two or, or a set, yeah, your local hardware store could probably tell you. <laughs> but uh, what you want to do is you want to take the first knuckle, the one that goes in the base. And as I was saying, you can see here, kind of see here that <laughs> that there is a there's a hexagonal opening on one side and then it's round on the other. So once you drop this in, once you drop this in here, you'll have one side that the the hexagonal nut goes in, so it only fits in one way. Again, I don't quite understand why reviews on the product have said that this is difficult to put together. It only goes together one way. <laughs> I mean, you can interchange the parts, but when you're screwing it together, it only goes in one way. So you hold that in, screw it on, and depending on how tight you screw it down will of course let you know how strong that is going to hold in place so yeah <laughs> it's uh, it, it's it's pretty solid it holds together pretty good I guess don't do it too tight. You want to be able to adjust it as necessary. So we'll do the other two. And these are the smaller ones. And on these, you can see that the pins on either side are the same. Maybe a little bit longer on this one side, but the peg itself is the same. So these next two really won't matter what order you put them in. And again, same sort of thing I said before. There's a hexagonal hole on one side that the nut fit, uh, drops into, just like so, nice and snug. But it doesn't really matter which of these two go where on the arm, or you know how the how the knuckle itself is is assembled. So twist. There we go. Like I said, not too tight. We still want to be able to move it around. Yeah, it might be, that might be a little too tight. <laughs> let's let's lo loosen it up just a twist. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah. There we go. So we got those two and one last one. Drop in like so. And you can see, lays in there nice and flush. Other side is just a circular hole. Drop the screw in there. Come on. <laughs> Come on. There it is. Oh, 
This is the first time I've done this reaching around a camera, so bear with me. <laughs> I don't want to lose the screw. Here we go. And yeah, there we go. Now, <laughs> oh, and then the, uh, and then the, again, the clockwork key kind of piece, I kind of call it, the little grasping claw parts just fit in nice and snug here. There we go. And the friction on it is pretty good. I mean, it 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 holds in place and holds the figures really well. So uh, now the assembly. Uh, for a lot of figures, or for a lot of folks, they may want to go ahead and do the horizontal kind of standard, kind of square. Excuse me, square uh, uh, style. In this case, for how I've posed my figures, I do find that if you do it horizontal, this way, it does give a wider footprint to distribute the weight for the center of uh, gravity to be a little uh, further over the base versus if you do it horizontal. Uh, it's all going to depend on what you do with your figure, but uh, but I personally, I'm, I'm going to be doing it uh, uh, vertical for Harley. Uh, the armatures themselves, I've, I've done, gosh, what is this now? One, two, three, four. This is the fifth one I've put together. And out of the five, I've had only one that was bad. <laughs> and by bad, I do mean, and you can see where that just pegs in like so. But by bad, I mean the armature itself was warped really badly. I mean, it was a terrible warp to it. And the peg holes that were on there were far too wide, far too uh, too large for the pen. So it didn't matter. It didn't matter what I was trying to put on there. I could I could hardly even um, uh, put the the arm itself together without it falling apart under its own weight. It just would not hold together at all. So for that one, I actually had to get some super glue and put a few drops of super glue in there and glue the armature to the knuckle. It would still move, the joint would still move, but yeah, <laughs> that was not the experience I was expecting. So out of the five that I've done so far, one of them has had some issues with the, uh, with the armatures being warped and the peg holes being too wide. But um, out, out of the 20, or I'm sorry, out of the 10, that, uh, that come in the bag, if only one of them have that issue, and again, a, a few drops of super glue clear it up, I'm not going to count too badly off for it. I, I'm not going to count that off too bad, because so far, these have really been great. Uh, just put in the last knuckle, and then the actual clip there at the top, and let's move the bag aside. And there we go. We've got a really good flight base figure base. One thing I will not argue with uh, that the reviews on it have said is that um, no, this is not going to uh, hold your heavier figures. Um, <laughs> it's something where uh, these really are made for your six inch SH Figure Arts style figures. Your your uh, 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 SH Figure Arts, uh, your uh, uh, DC Universe, DC Superheroes, um, that style of figure, the six inch figure, uh, I think is is what these are going to be best used for. Uh, I, I if you've got, <laughs> if you've got a if you're one of those guys if you're if you're that guy who's got the uh, the Hot Toys 12-inch G.I. Joe Cobra Commander. I know who you are. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, 
it's going to be something where no, these are not going to be the these aren't going to be bases. They're going to be any good. They're they're not going to work for those. But for the six inch figures, if you're looking to to have to have something a little more energetic to do with them, here you go. That is this is exactly what you want. And again. <laughs> That that put and this and what this does is this automatically takes Harley from a mid shelf figure with her just standing to a higher shelf figure where you can actually look up at the figure, see her coming down, and get the full effect of that pose. That is it, it is it totally changes the the you know what what you may be doing with the figure. Now uh, now I did say that some folks may uh, may want to pose their figures. Kind of uh, horizontally. In this case, we've got Goku. Whoa! <laughs> and that's 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 going to happen. That'll happen. I don't expect to. I don't expect to move these a whole lot. But here's Goku. We'll get him back in there. So we've got Goku going Saiyan, midair Saiyan, about to get a pretty nasty surprise from Harley behind. <laughs> so again, it is just, it is just, again, it totally changes the kind of things you can do with your figures and what kind of fun you can have with them. Um, I, I don't know if this is something anyone else would necessarily be interested in. I think they're great. I think they work out real well. Uh, just to give you a look at some of the, uh, uh, some other of the figures that I've got and what I've done with them. Let's move Harley. Let's move Harley on and Goku off to the side. Now, one of the drawbacks I did find with one of the eight, uh, SH figure arts, the Batman figure is that he has a pretty white torso. So it, it's, it is tricky on some figures uh, to get them to grip in just the right way. But I've had him pose like this now uh, for over a week. <laughs> and, and I have not had any problems. It was only when I moved him off the shelf and here to, this, to the set where I had to go ahead and, and readjust him. But uh, but once you once you get them in place, once you get them posed, it looks great. It is a it, they they are really really awesome. Um, again, his torso is a bit wide, so you know you may have to do a little work on some of them. Uh, and uh, and again, I only recommend them for your six inch figures. The largest one that I would largest line of figures that I would probably recommend is going to be the Master of the Universe Classic line. Because of their weight and size, I really don't think I'd recommend anything larger. And actually, <laughs> I bought this just for this very purpose, for just this reason. You know, so I don't really, uh, I don't want to recommend it for anything larger than your Master of the Universe Classics figures. As far as weight goes, and size, I think these are probably the biggest that you're going to use these bases for. But again, you know, if you're going to have a, a larger scale figure like Mattel's Ghostbusters, you know, the 12 inch Ghostbuster figures or a Hot Toys figure, that's a whole different uh, category of figure. And you're going to need a whole different kind of stand for it. This is strictly for your action figures. And... And, and even then, it is just for someone who is wanting to do something a little more, get a little more serious about, you know, how they keep them on display. Lastly, we'll move Stratos out of the way. And, you know what, we'll, we'll take Batman away out of the way too. I'll have to put him back anyway. 
But one last thing that I thought was very cool that you could do is because, again, they, there's multiple holes on there, you can do kind of the two-figure thing there where you've got Green Lantern kind of with a mid-air combat with Sinestro. Or, you know, whatever, whatever flying combat you want to have done. These bases hold up really well. So, again, you know, not, not really taking a look at a figure today, but, uh, but if you are a collector, and like I said, if you are looking for something to, to have a little more fun with on your bases, I'm sorry I didn't have any of my Marvel Legends out of their, uh, out of their storage. Uh, I, would, I really think that if you had a Spider-Man, a Spider-Man figure would be great with this. A Deadpool figure would be great with this. Um, maybe a hovering Doctor Strange. Uh, I, I can think of so many more Marvel figures that I think that this would really look good with. Um, again, I'm sorry I didn't have them out of the pack. We've got Marvel Legends coming up. We've got, uh, we got what do we have? We've got, uh, we've got um, Armin Zola, the Build-A-Figure, uh, the, uh, the Green Goblin Build-A-Figure, the Thanos Build-A-Figure. So we've got some Marvel Legends stuff coming up. I didn't have any of it available. It's all in storage at the moment. It's behind two other boxes. Uh, but, um, but yeah, as we start to do some of those other reviews, I think it's cool that, that these bases, I've got these bases now to kind of show how much you can really get out of your figure. And, uh, again, I'll put a link in the uh, description below. I'm probably going to put out at least one more pack of 10. I think I can think of at least another 10 or 15 figures that I'll be doing stuff with. But I thought I'd take a look at, or I thought I'd show this off, let you guys take a look. Hope you enjoy watching. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe, join the revolution. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.